uncovered an international case of deception that has ended with dozens of museums saddled with bogus works of art. The piece was one of five donated to the Oklahoma City Museum where Matt Leininger worked in 2008, donated by this man, Mark Landis. Nothing's original under the sun, you know. Everything goes back to something. Put it in one of those Walmart frames. Looks like a million dollars. It does look like a million dollars. The Sotheby's label would have said, rack chalk, metal wash, red chalk. I just use color pencils. Do you have any idea why at this point you haven't been prosecuted? Because I, I didn't do anything wrong or illegal. There's kind of a performance art quality to the act. What's so strange about Landis is that he's not in it for the money. It wasn't like Landis went in and said, here, I'm going to give you this fabulous painting by Picasso, and you need to pay me, you know, $100,000 for the painting, and then receive the money, which would, that would be a crime, okay? That's a fraud. But the fact is, he gave it to the museum for free. But I'm not the only curator who do. No matter what issues or challenges you may have, that's still no excuse. He's been doing it over 30 years, and I've found 46 museums in 20 states with more than 100 pieces that he's offered up to these institutions. And then you're in business. Oh, yeah, I totally see the, the pixels. 